hear from you before we come to uh, Dr. Arthur Kennedy. Now, you are among a number of, you know, finance and economic professors who have spoken to our medium and other media, and you have been very clear that the position of the finance minister was not tenable, has not been tenable for months now. What do you make of what's happened in Parliament? Uh, yeah, so you're absolutely right. I mean, as far back as June or July, I was one of the few people that started calling for the finance minister to go purely on policy grounds. And I thought that several mistakes had been made, um, including even the passage of the e-levy and the lack of consultation and eventually coming to bite us, you know, uh, back um, in the in the face. Um, in terms of the process itself and what took place in Parliament, I think there are two points that I want to sort of make there. I like the idea, just like uh, Suhini said, of testing the um, constitutional processes when it comes to the vote of uh, censure and going through those motions and seeing the finance minister also being given an opportunity to respond to the issues that were tabled uh, before him uh, to, to address. That I think was a plus for our constitutional um, uh, advocacy and constitutional um, evolution. Um, and it was good watching those motions taking place and the back and forth and the sort of uh, jaw jawing uh, of, of uh, the um, ideas. But I think the outcome was a foregone conclusion. And you could even see that from the posturing of uh, both the, the leader and um, from Katie Hammond, but also even from uh, Ayene himself, you could see that almost the whole process became a, a political charade where it was more like trying to, in a way, score points, and but also safeguard or protect uh, sometimes even the finance minister, you know, himself. So I am not surprised, and I'm sure many Ghanaians are not surprised that at the end of the day, the finance minister, you know, um, has not been censured in 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 a in, in a in a sense, um, and the um, main. Um, party, the NPP guys decided to um, walk out of the house and they said like Pont Pontius Pilate, they decided to wash their hands and they wouldn't have any part to do or to deal with the process it itself. That, that was almost foregone. We knew this is what was going to uh, come up to. But with or without a vote of censure, with or without all the things that have taken place in Parliament, it is quite clear from where I sit, from the interactions I've had with several Ghanaians, that the finance minister's position has become untenable and he, ha he has to either resign or be fired. I